everyone and welcome to my new dolly paint video. The summer is almost over and before I dive completely into all these dark and scary Halloween makeovers, I still want to make something funny, cute, maybe a little bit childish and I think now the beginning of September is the best time for the last summer makeover of 2018. And for this transformation I have chosen probably the cutest doll of the whole Monster High family and this is such a Laguna Blue doll with all this tiny nose, huge eyes, very cute lips. I think she's just ideal for a, such a girlish and childish cartoonish makeover. And this transformation will begin a collaboration with my mom and I have asked her to make for this doll a special costume for a watermelon party. Something colorful, something funny, like I told already, maybe childish, with lots of funny details, yeah, something for the last party of this summer. So the costume is already ready and you will see it in the end of this video and for me it's time to take this doll acetone and all other torture instruments and to start working on this doll. So let's go! So let's start our destruction routine. The dress and the shoes must be gone as well as her original hair. This time I need to use my hair dryer just for 2 minutes to be able to take her head off. Not like I was suffering for a good 5 minutes probably or even more with that 17 inch Monster High doll last week. Because her head was really so thick. Then with my old and rusty tweezers I pull the rest of her hair from the inside of her head. And then with pure acetone I remove the paint from her face and head. With a knife I cut off the fins from her hands. Then I take white self-drying clay and I fill in the holes in her legs. And then when the clay is dry I sand it all very good with nail buffers. I'm going to paint her body with acrylic paint, because you can see that the old paint on her arms went off and there are also the white spots on her legs, so I will have to blush it with all pastels for a long time to make it all the same color. So let's use the fast way. And before painting I clean her head and the body with an acetone free nail polish remover. 
So this is how it looks painted and before I start drawing and blushing I'm going to spray the face and the body with three layers of Mr. Super Clear on top to prepare the surface and to make it matte. Now I'm finally ready to start drawing and first with a very sharp watercolor pencil in a Caput Mortum color I sketch her eyes. I really love the big eyes of the original doll so let's give her again bigger ones. Then I make darker like always the line between her lips and the lip corners. And after this I draw the eyebrows with brown soft pastels. And then I correct the shape of them with a tiny piece of an eraser. And then I start contouring and blushing her face with soft pastels. And I'm going to use very soft pinkish colors for her face because I'm going to give her pink hair later. And while I'm working, let's start answering your questions from the comments under my videos. And first of all, I want to thank all of you for joining my live stream last week. It was really amazing, I had such a lot of fun and I'm sure I will do it again quite soon. You can still watch it recorded here on YouTube. And now let's move to the new questions. How many dolls can you do with one can of Mr. Super Clear sealant? Normally I can make 2-3 dolls with one can. If we are talking about regular size Monster High dolls, it's I would say 3 dolls with one can. But if I work on bigger dolls, it can go faster of course. So yeah, 2-3 dolls per can. The next question is what is or was the hardest part in repainting dolls? I honestly don't really like blushing their bodies. I don't know why, probably because it's all the time kind of the same and it's less creative than working on a face and accessories. But at the same time it takes really a lot of time. So I cannot say it's the hardest part, but this is the part that I like less of all. And I will probably reply one more time to one of the most popular questions ever, because people keep asking it every day multiple times in all possible messengers. If someone sent a picture, do you do custom dolls? No guys, unfortunately I almost never take custom orders. I like when I can feel completely free in my work, then I can create and do whatever I want and if you start with custom orders you can forget about freedom and inspiration and prepare just to follow the orders using your skills. So sometimes I do it, but almost never. You also ask me quite often about choosing the right pencil colors and about making the pencils sharp. 
So let's make the pencil part together today. I have here a box of 60 pencils and a holder with probably 20-25 other pencils that I've bought later. And this is all Faber Castell Albrecht Durer watercolor pencils. So I will for sure need the Caput Mortum pencil, I'm already using it. The white pencil is also used in every single repaint. The whole variety of light beige, natural pink and brown pencils for working on her eyes, eyelids, eyebrows and lips. I'm going to give her blue eyes, so let's take the blue pencil, yellow to give some extra contrast to the blue irises, pink for her lips, darker blue for the shades in her eyes, more natural pink and red pencils, then the whole set of grey pencils to draw the shadows in her eyes, and of course black. So before I always used a very simple breaking knife to make my pencils sharp, and it worked perfectly, I didn't really need to look for anything else. But I just like pretty little things, so lately I've bought such an extremely cute Swiss knife. It's with a spaceman and with a dog in space, and I like all the stars and space topic and things and accessories. And I absolutely never ever ever use a sharpener for my pencils, because they sharpen sharpeners they're cutting too much of your pencil off and these pencils are quite expensive so I want them to live a little bit longer and with a knife you see I can just make the middle of the pencil very sharp and I don't really cut the wood uh, and I don't make my pencils shorter also this whole process takes a while of course I would say I'm busy about 20 sometimes even 30 minutes with such a bunch of pencils but it's also a very meditative job and I can think about things this time for example I thought and why am I going to make blue eyes let's finally make it a chromic eyes for for once in the, on this channel people have asked it already for years so one blue eye and another one should be green and then I immediately started to make a couple of green pencils sharp as well. So we're going heterochromic today. So the pencils are ready, let's start drawing. And I begin like always with her eyes, making one eye blue and another one green. Her lips I cover with a touch of pink soft pastels. Then I take my pencils again and I draw the second layer of the eyes, going a little bit more detail this time.
With light pencils, I add all the time more and more highlights. Then I add very detailed accents with a black pencil and I also draw the bottom eyelashes. And now I'm going to blush her body because its color should match the color of the face. And now it's my favorite part, applying freckles. It always gives the face extra texture and it looks more realistic. She will have pink hair, so her freckles I also want to make natural pink, a little bit darker than her skin tone. And for this I'm mixing together three different tones of acrylic paint, add water and then I spray the freckles first to a piece of paper to try and to add some more water and then I spray them to the doll's face.
And then I apply freckles to her body as well. I add a layer of light pink blush to her cheeks. Like this, the freckles will look more like built into her skin. With white acrylic paint, I add extra highlights to her eyes and then I spray the doll with three layers of the sealant to protect my work. Then I'm signing my doll. I make a wig for her using pink synthetic hair and then I put the head and the body back together using a hair dryer again. Attaching the false lashes, add glossy top to her eyes and lips, and then we can finally take a look at her outfit and make some cool and cute accessories for her. So here we have such a super cute watermelon style pullover, and even this girl on the print my mom have painted herself on. Then we have such a funny green pants. And the last detail is this funny hat with watermelon bows. I think she still needs some shoes, a watermelon itself and a bunch of balloons if she's going to some birthday party. Let's probably make the balloons first. I took two of such a plastic lemons from a kitchen magnet in my grandfather's apartment and now I'm going to put a half of a real balloon around and then I will stick a piece of a thin wire in the middle of our egg's lemons. Then our doll will be able to hold them.
her shoes I will take this red sneakers and I will paint the bottom of the soles green like the outside of a watermelon. And then on the red part of the shoes I will paint black watermelon seeds on. And now let's make a watermelon. First I make a ball using a piece of foil and then I cover it with a layer of white self-drying clay. And I work with the brand Darby. Then I let it dry for 3 days and when it becomes completely hard I send it to get a smooth surface. I spray it with Mr. Super Clear sealant and then I draw watermelon stripes with my watercolor pencils to make it look like a real watermelon. In the middle I spray it again with the sealant and then I apply this second layer to make all the colors brighter and deeper. In the end I spray it again with Mr. Super Clear and I cover our watermelon with a coat of glossy acrylic varnish. And now I think everything is ready and let's finally take a look at the end result. I honestly think it's one of my cutest repaints on this channel. She's somewhere in the same category like the giraffe doll from a couple of weeks ago. And I'm so much in love with this tiny watermelon. I fix it with transparent hair elastics, then the doll can hold it easily. And the balloons also look so good, by the way. So I really hope you will enjoy the end result of my work today. And please don't forget to support my art with your likes. And also check if you've been subscribed to my channel, because I have it also sometimes that I'm watching someone's videos for weeks and then I suddenly see that all this time I wasn't even subscribed. And like this you can miss the new videos of course. So thank you so much for all your comments and for all your support. And I will see you already very soon in my new videos. Bye!